Well, I'm delighted to say um, I'm joined by Tyg Daly now uh, for a performance and a bit of a chat. Tyg, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. No, I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. So, Tyg, tell our listeners a little bit about yourself. Where are you from uh, and, and, and what got you into music? Uh, so, I'm from Jersey in the Channel Islands, ah. uh, which is a very, very small little island basically next to France, for anyone that doesn't know. Sure. Uh, and I got into music, I don't know, just I, I listened to like Nirvana and stuff when I was younger and I was like, man, that is incredible. So yeah. I started playing guitar. Really. And that kind of inspired you on your musical journey so far. Yeah, yeah. How wonderful. Sure. So, how long have you been in London for? Um, I've lived here for like about eight years. Eight like, years, okay. But, you know... I went down to Brighton for a little bit yep. and then sort of like popped around for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's got a great scene as well, hasn't it, Brighton? It's got lots of, and quite inspiring, I can imagine, to write music. Yeah, it was great, actually. Um, it was nice in a way because I didn't really know anyone down there. So sure. I just kind of like went around to gigs and stuff yeah. and like met people, you know, which I wouldn't do that much over here because I already know people in London. Of course. Like yeah, yeah. So your musical journey, you've been over here for about eight years, something like that. And then, so... You write all your own music. You write with other, with other songwriters, other artists as well. Uh, s some of my songs I write just myself, and then yeah. I've got like a couple of very close collaborators that sure. I work on things with. But I don't really tend to sort of stray too far out of that close knit group. Um, and uh, yeah, there's like the same two producers that make my sure. music, and then one other guy, a friend of mine, Josh Oliver, that I write a lot with. Wonderful. And do you play much around London? Do you have many shows or anything coming up? Uh, yes, I've got a. Uh, tour coming up actually oh brilliant um it's a, it's a european tour but the first night is in london at um oh what's it called uh saint matthias church okay uh, i think it's in stoke newington yes uh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um uh and i'm just the support artist of the tour i'm supporting an artist called michael malarkey from america okay um so that's on the i think it's the 18th of march yeah the 18th okay. of march that is okay um and uh, then I've got my head, my kind of first headline show of the year at uh, Servants Jazz Quarter on the, ah. the 21st of April. That's the my first ever gig I did in London. My first ever London really? headline gig was Servants Jazz Quarter. Oh, I've never been it's before. It's a great venue. Yeah, I've heard it's, it's really, really nice. Good. Do you play piano as well or just guitar? Uh, no, I play piano very badly. Well, it's got uh, a lovely <laughs> Yamaha upright piano on the stage. Oh, really? So you should make, make I, use of that. I, it's really I would cool. disgrace that <laughs> piano, honestly. <laughs> so we're going to hear a song in a minute, Tyg. So for our listeners that don't know you, how would you describe your music to them? Um, I mean, you know, there's definitely like a sort of core singer-songwriter yep. ele element, I think, in yep. there. But um, the newer music is definitely more pop-leaning, I think. Sure. Um, maybe like, yeah, al alternative pop, I guess, is okay. the broad way to describe it, I think. Yeah. You know? Wonderful. Well, take it away, Ty. Thank you so much. Let's Thank make you, you feel very welcome, everyone. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah, let's excuse the guitar playing a bit. I'm going to try with this thing on, make my way through it. Sorry. <laughs> what are you waiting for? So what are you waiting for? Feel a little unsafe on the surface I feel a little unstable in all this And you thought that I know but I guess I'm not that good at reading signs and when I looked at you, I saw something change in your bloodshot eyes. So what are you waiting for? Oh, what are you waiting for? So just tell me when, even if friends have missed the beginning, cause it feels like the end. I know maybe this life just weren't meant for us with that said. I hope I can see you again. Mm -hmm. 
Fight, guess it's life, and we're dead, dear. Oh, I wish that I knew, but we both know I'm not good at reading signs. All those things we've been through, I guess they weren't enough to keep us alive. So what are you waiting for? Oh, what are you waiting for? So just tell me when, even if friends I miss the beginning Cause it feels like the end I know maybe this life just weren't meant for us with that said I hope I can see you again Thank you Thank you Thank you so much Ty for that Wonderful stuff. So this is the soul show, right? And I always say this, that on this show, it's not like a, just a classic soul show. I play anything that's filled with soul. Sure. So whether that's blues, soul, folk, singer, songwriter, and you've definitely got so much soul in your voice, haven't you? Thank you. You have, hasn't he? He's got loads of soul in his voice. And what I love about your voice is you've got the baritone sound, which you don't hear many singers with that. And then you're going up the register as well, which is amazing to hear that kind of music Thank going you. on. So Servant Jazz Quarters, and when can people come and see you? What date's that again? Uh, it's the 21st of April. 21st of April. Yeah, the tickets are on sale now. Um, okay. So you can get them from like my website, I guess, or like my Instagram yeah. account. Um, and and it's, it's a really special venue, so I'm sure yeah. you're going to... Well, you I'm, I'm more excited now that you've said that, yeah, because I don't really know too much about it, to be honest. It's, it's a really cool kind of basement kind of venue. Amazing. Like, it, they're a very unique v venue in London. There's not right. many venues like that. So it's a lot of fun. So, And you're based a lot down at the Strong Rooms, is that right? The Strong Room Studios, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like a five-minute walk from here, actually. So you spend most of your days like writing, recording, things like that? Yeah, um, yeah, I've done like a lot of writing with other artists uh -huh. um, for their stuff over the last sort of year or so, as yeah. well. Um, now, for sort of fully focused back on my own stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've just been making like a new EP, so we're kind of in the late stages of that sure. now. Sure. Um, and yeah, that's kind of winding down now before going on tour. Really wonderful stuff. So, where can people find you online, Ty? What's the what's <laughs> uh, the uh, Insta socials? I've got like? an incredibly complicated name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my it's Tig Daily official, I think, is everything, uh -huh. um, and it's T A D H G D A L Y official. Okay. Uh, it's Irish. Yeah, well, it's we'll, a weird we'll name. put it on the um, on the Mixcloud link on Hoxton Radio website. Oh, great. Thank you. So hopefully people can can head over there. Yeah, thank um, you. Tig, thank you so much for being uh, our guest this afternoon on Hoxton Radio. Give us give some noise, everyone, for Tig, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Tig. <laughs> 